All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chicago Bears Daily. Hit that sub button for Daily Bears content. The Bears just made a trade, man. They just got Nikhil Harry from the New England Patriots for only a seventh round pick, future seventh round pick, 2024. I mean, what a what a move. I mean, this is actually like a, a phenomenal move for the Chicago Bears. They got a very high upside, high potential player. We've been talking on this channel, should the Bears sign a wide receiver for weeks and weeks and weeks. This is a money move, bro. You just got a 6'4", 225 former first round draft pick. So basically, here's why Nikhil Harry's career in New England did not work out. They take him with the 32nd pick in the 2019 draft. He had a phenomenal career phenomenal collegiate career at arizona state had back-to-back -back all pac-12 first team selections in 2017 and 2018 so he's coming into the nfl as that freaking dude ankle injury preseason doesn't come back till i believe yeah week 11 week 11 of 2019 season and for a rookie to miss the first 11 weeks to miss preseason and then to just essentially get thrown in there week 11 when games start to i know every week matters in football obviously but games really start to matter in week 11 like that's that's when this is and this is you know only 17 week seasons only 16 game seasons i don't know where the patriots were standing in 2019 halfway through the year but man i mean it, for a rookie I think that's kind of a tough situation to be in because you just are not familiar. You are so uncomfortable, it's unreal. So he only had 101 yards and two touchdowns on 12 receptions his rookie season. So obviously they, they just didn't even, they didn't even really use him. Last season for the New England Patriots, 12 games, only four starts. So it's just been going downhill as far as the fit has gone in new england not not skill or talent wise but opportunities they've just been steadily decreasing since two seasons ago when he got 14 14 games played only nine starts 33 catches 301 yards for two touchdowns but then this past season only four starts man 12 touch or 12 catches for 184 yards so statistically you're not going to see anything that blows your mind right now but like i said bro he's 6'4 he's 225 pounds He's going to be money, dude. I, I mean, I would imagine he's going to be a wide receiver number two. And once Velas Jones Jr. starts getting things reeling, I actually really like the high upside potential at the wide receiver position that the Chicago Bears have. Nikhil Harry is a phenomenal move. And shout out Ryan Poles because this is exactly the type of move that I think a lot of Bears fans here on the channel, we've been thinking like, you know, I, they're not, you know, are they... Are they fully sold on Justin Fields? Are they fully sold on what's going on right now? Like, why aren't they making moves at the wide receiver position? I know that they made some moves, but why aren't they bolstering it more? Why aren't they getting some more pieces? Why aren't they getting a veteran? What, what are they doing over there? You go out, you get a nice young 24-year-old Nikhil Harry for a 2024 seventh round pick. Ah, uh, yes, please. So that's it for today, man. Go ahead. Drop your opinion on this down below. I would go ahead and give this trade an A. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. So that's it for today. Once again, hit the like button, hit that sub button. Most importantly, drop a comment down below. What do you think about this trade? Maybe give it a grade, give it a rating. That's it for today. Peace.